Hello, this is Incentive 14, Playthrough 1, Paper Mario, Chapter 8, Part 2, and last part. We entered Bowser's Castle in this part. We got this key, and uh, we must use it to get back to that door guy in order to to progress in this, this maze that Bowser has uh, presented us. And I totally forgot exactly where I need to go, but because this is just really weird. And, and uh, in the last part, we did uh, fall in this area, and this is not where we're supposed to go. So, I, so it looks like as though we have to go all the way back and, you know... Go back the long way, I believe. We have to actually have to go down through here, actually, so we can uh, actually go all the way back. Back. Plus, there are some some extra stuff here you can get. There's a uh, there's a life stream that'll be pretty pretty darn useful to you. And I got a lot of good items as is. And let's see here. Hmm. Wow, this, this is really tough. Wow. I got an extra life stream. What are we gonna do with this? Let's see here. Uh, actually, I don't really need thunder rages. Uh, Pretty good without them. It'd be really nice to have those, uh, keep those, but at this point, you just, uh, I don't feel as though I need them. There's not really that many enemies that you can, that you can fight. There's not too many you can fight, uh, multiple, but anyways, by lowering down this water, we can actually get over to here and get this deep focus badge that we have. It's like our third one that we've gotten. And I gotta try and figure out a way to get back up here, I believe. Uh, all we gotta do is just, I don't know, figure out some way to get back up there. Either if it's by some gate or anything, really. Come on. There's a door right there. Hope nobody comes in. Really, really bad. Alright. Now we gotta find an alternate way. It's been so long. Come on. It's just. It can't be that hard just to find the, the hidden doorway. I mean, seriously. It's only been like three, two or three days since I recorded that last part. And I need to step it up before the first one even gets uploaded. And luckily with all this lava, we don't even have to worry about... We don't even have to worry about, uh, venturing through them. And so there's those items right there. We don't decide not to pick them up. Am I really... Uh, oh, um, oh, hold up. Uh, alright, well, okay. Well, just scroll that, uh, that, that castle key at the very front. You just, just screw that. Okay. So it turns out you have to go all the way through here. I just went all the way back just to go through there. But okay, this is the next area where we have to go through these caves. And, uh, right, or first things first I wanted to talk about is, uh, this is the first video that I've watched, uh, it's the first, wait, all right, let me get in this battle, but I'll commentate it, because there's a new, new enemy. I don't believe we can actually tattle it, because, uh, by doing that, just like with, uh, just like with the fuzzy bead, we can't, we can't, so fortunately, there's no way I can actually tattle these, so fortunately, these enemies aren't going to be able to uh, be tattled. Uh, if I had the peekaboo badge, we can actually figure out how many, how much, uh, how much uh, damage this, these things can take, but they, they shouldn't take too much damage. At least, looks like at least nine. But getting back to what I was gonna say, uh, this is my first video ever I'm recording after watching the Super Smash Bros. for Wii U 50 Faction Extravaganza. Holy Jesus, they gave us a buttload of information. First things first, they just just unloaded that there will be eight player Smash, which oh, it'll be hectic. Fortunately, it won't be for online. Or, uh, it's, I don't believe it's gonna be online. It's gonna be from local. Um, so I'm glad it won't be for. It won't be for like local, or not local, but uh, public or multiplayer. You know, like online multiplayer with anybody. It's a bummer. It, it, there might not be. Uh, not exactly sure, but it won't be for uh, online with friends. I, I believe, if that's uh, the right right thing. But uh, we're in the dark here, so we gotta try and maneuver our way through here. But. Also, uh, uh, what, what's replacing Snake's Codex is actually a uh, Kid Icarus Uprising uh, dialogue, you know. Or not Kid, Kid Icarus, not exactly Kid, Kid Icarus uh, Uprising dialogue, not straight directly from it, but, you know, the cast from, from that game is going to be around to, it's going to be around to, I guess, commentate over these, uh, all the fighters, which I actually like. Uh, I was expecting that, that this would be, I don't know, somewhat in incorporated a little bit into the next Kid Icarus game, but, you know, screw that. Let's just have that. Let's just have that where, where, uh, you know, uh, the Kid Icarus characters are talking about other characters. That, that I think, might be the biggest thing I might be looking forward to. Especially, you know, if you're, if you're gonna codec, uh, diff another, uh, Kid, Kid Icarus character, you know, like Palutena or Dark Pit, or maybe even Pit, you know, because that, that was always interesting, you know, seeing, uh, uh, I don't think I have a space shield, so I might be screwed here. Yeah, that was bad. That was a bad move. 
But yeah, it would be interesting just to see uh, Pit uh, do a dialogue on himself, you know, just like with Snake doing dialogue on himself. I wonder what, uh, what would they say say about that. But enough getting into that. Or actually, no, never mind. Uh, there's plenty I could talk about the extravaganza. Uh, what else? Aside from the codec and a player smash, they are also in introducing uh, bigger stages, bigger stage versions for the you know for the a player mode. So you know the stage won't be too small and it won't get too hectic. You, you actually get some more room to fight. Which um, if we're gonna have this sort sort of stuff, then then yeah, that's, that's gonna be great. I don't think uh, that item up there is gonna be any of, any of use. And if it is, then hmm, screw it. Anyways, uh, getting back to this, uh, we have to keep switching back, switching back to pair carrying a lot. Watt. Good thing I didn't uh, hit him. And let's just try and uh, comb through this area. Um, there's a few enemies here in the dark that you have to also watch out for. And the next thing I want to also go over is let me try and think about it. Oh, also, a quick thing: uh, Mario Kart 8. They released uh, Yoshi Circuit. Uh, it's actually the first. I'd say it was. Is it the first? It should be the first uh, track that was ever brought back again. If not, then, you know, I might be wrong. Who knows? I think it's probably you just jump. Jump right over. And I'm really skipping these battles because I don't really feel like battling. Just trying to get through this as fast as I can. Plus, I don't uh, believe I can actually level up any faster. And what's, what's going on here? Can I just jump or anything? No? I guess I was supposed to fall down. Alright, so I'll, I'll fall down. Miss the enemy and just uh, jump down that hole that I decided to jump over. Because by jumping down here, we can actually get to the next area. Whoop de doo I, for, I totally forgot. But get back into this Mario Kart 8 thing. Yeah, they're going to bring back Yoshi Circuit. Yeah, I just said that part. But Also, uh, what else? Um, we, wait, we push this way. Yeah, we do. Uh, they got the B-Dasher, and, you know, they actually showed off the... They actually showed off another additional cart. Yes, it was uh, it was used by Tanuki Mario. It looks like a, some sort of Jeep. You know, like, maybe look like from Crash Bandicoot. Looks pretty interesting. So it looks like... Uh, there's, we got all the characters and, well, half, or a, a quarter of the tracks out of the eight revealed. And, we actually, yeah, he actually lets us through. He doesn't uh, have us do anything uh, fancy, but, yeah, we're, we're all set for, uh, we got, like, uh, half the video left, but, yeah, it looks like we're all set for, for the first pack of DLC, which will be coming next month as a recording, so, uh, when that comes out, uh, stay tuned on my channel to, for, uh, for that for uh, the DLC because I will uh, I will uh, do a grand prix playthrough of that and I want to make sure actually I want to uh, actually never mind what I said in the last video uh, it would be it's not really a waste if you have the spike shield and the power quake so I think I'll be getting rid of the pretty lucky and putting back on the where is it the spike shield I actually have an extra point le left over uh, I spy I don't think will be useful because oh well, final areas that they really expected to find anything in here uh, actually, you know what? I think we'll just go for a downgrade. We'll just get rid of the power quake. And let's see here. Oh, this is really tough. I don't want to be. Sp I don't. I don't want to be spending too much time in this spot. All right. Actually, think about. Yeah, let's let's whip this badge. P up D down. Uh, brief summary on this badge. You know, increases your attack power, but lowers your defense. But in this case, since we're fighting these uh, Koopa, Koopa guys, then as as long as they're flipped over, they can't really do anything. So it's not really a huge waste. That's going to be another thing with this chapter. There's going to be a lot of enemies that you can flip over and lower defense completely and know there's not much that they can do. Pretty great for us, but I believe by going down here, you can actually, if you if you need to, you can talk to one of these toads and you can actually rest. So uh, that's, that's great for you. Yeah, you can refresh your body and soul. That's what, I guess that's what the game calls it because almost every character that, uh, that heals you, if you talk to him, yeah, I guess they say that. So somewhat. No. What? They, they'll find. You're already captured. Why? There's no need to. Ah, darn toads. All right. So getting back matter of hand, we're just just about getting close to this uh this dungeon here. We're still in Bowser's castle. Just, I just want. You know, it's, I know it's been a while, but geez, like, how exactly did Bowser fit this castle right under Peach's castle? And there's these two two areas right here. There's one area that leads. To the right path, I believe that was the right path. So, and this is another area in this little room that you know leads to optional stuff. I believe it should be this area right here. Uh, it's, it's confusing, but uh, let's just check. Uh, okay, so 
So in this area, if you ever need items, apparently it's just a random thing. But uh, is go to this warehouse, but really bored. Uh, okay, got coins. Uh, so if you, I guess uh, just a random random thing you don't really expect, but in the final area, if you need items, then here it is. And if if you need to check out some items too, like if you need to store some items, I think I'm actually gonna do that real quick. Uh, let's see here. I don't. Let's see here. Ah, beating myself here. Let's. Um. I don't think I need. Uh, actually, I th I think I might be alright. All right for now. I think uh, having three life streams will be really useful in case if you know anything uh, really really crappy happens. Because there is this one part in this in this chapter that I actually want to do, and it's actually going to be really tough. And I think this might be the long string of enemies that we're going to have to take care of, or. This might be our first time to actually uh, be able to tell these guys. Now, now, now it's all illuminated. All right, so these guys are bony beetles. They're, they're bony beetles, hence the name. XGP eight, attack power three, defense power zero. Defense power zero, attack power, or defense power four. So be so used to saying defense power zero because most of the enemies have d no defense power. It's tough to damage them. When their spikes are out, their attack power is five. When they re retract their spikes, take the opportunity to flip them over. After that, beating them will be a breeze. That's all there really is to that. I mean, we've, you've seen, you've seen what it's like when we were attacking those things, and the quick hammer also is a beneficial a move to have while uh, facing these things. That way, you can, uh, you know, attack multiple enemies and flip them over at the same time. Oh, and oh, luckily, uh, quick hammer it does four damage, but you know, it's actually uh, pretty, pretty useful to us. And uh, unfortunately, there's not going to be too much to this battle. Uh, I think I'm as just. Uh, there's there's a few enemies. Oh, jeez, I I missed. I was supposed to go for the other one, but whatever. We, we make mistakes. But there's going to be a lot of enemies in this area. I think I might. Ooh, five. Oh, because the that badge that I have that increased my increased my uh, attack and defense or er, increase my attack but lowers my defense. That's going to be that kind of screws with everything. But anyways, there's gonna be a lot of battles. I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out, starting, starting right after this battle. Once I get the star points, uh, there's not. I don't think there's gonna be too many enemies, but just a, just a good amount, like this one right here. Nope, that's still a thing. Uh, one match Koopa just by himself. He just runs away. Uh, not really the whole face of Bowser's minions, you know, being cowards, but yeah. Is that really the reality, or usually uh, with Bowser's minions, they usually just fight till they die? No, my life shrooms. I didn't. Uh, this is what happens when you choke multi box. You, you use your life shrooms and get totally screwed. I tried to risk myself, but you know I just got the worst end out of, out of risk. Unfortunately, that has to, has to happen. And I have to deal with that. I was, I was using timeout, just trying to buy myself some time. Not, not trying to make that happen, but unfortunately, you know, I failed in, in trying to keep myself alive. It's all because of the, that badges and you know the amount of attack power that these magic Koopas have, just they, they just deal so much, and there's not much you can really do. All right, that battle, not the way I wanted to go, but whatever. That's that's what's gonna happen in this area, and and I got some. I should have some super shrooms in here. Nope. No, actually, never mind. I don't. I thought I had some super shrooms, but whatever. Uh, luckily, we have one inventory uh, in inventory space that has been used. It looks like uh, getting to a little bit more more diverse in our character uh, character was our, our party members. It looks like we've got these blocks, or, uh, these uh, docks right here. It looks like we need sushi, and by and this is gonna be the main area. What am I just saying here? Uh, we we have to flush this area with water and. I guess that might be the only way we can get through this area. So this looks like a job for sushi. We're gonna be go swimming here, and uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about uh, some Mario stuff. Uh, no, 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 save some Super Smash Brothers stuff. Jesus, I'm so in a, so uh, decisive today. Okay, so what we what we have gotten over a uh, Apolar Smash, Palutena Guide. I think that's what it's gonna be called. And, uh, also, wait, okay, uh, 
one thing I want to also go over is the, the Miiverse stage. Now uh, that... This is a stage where, you know, it's kind of like, just like Battlefield, but... In the background, you'll be able to see, uh... See posts of... You know, depending on what character you're playing as. I guess they're just pre-rendered and... They're not really live, uh, I'm guessing. But... That's gonna be really cool, just uh, seeing all these posts, you know, just cheering you on. I just imagine that being, you know, just like in... Uh, spoiler alert, a little, I guess, but not really a spoiler alert, because, you know, this, it's a 10-year-old game already, but, you know, the ending of Paper Mario 2, uh, just, just that, or a Thousand New Door, that's what it's supposed to be called. But speaking of Paper, Paper Mario Thousand New Door, uh, not too long ago, uh, it was actually the, it was the 10-year anniversary, it was, it was on the 11th of October, that was when the game was released, and I really wanted to bring that up, I wanted to, what I wanted to do was make a, uh, I wanted to make a homage to Paper Mario the Thousand New Door, and you know what? Better, better late than never. Actually, I'll uh, go ahead, go ahead, and actually uh, do my homage right now. Uh, it all started my my uh, experience with Paper Mario the Thousand New Door. It, it all started uh, in Christmas of 2004. Uh, I was uh, playing, I was playing a, a chunk of the demo of uh, Paper Mario the Thousand New Door at, uh, near Walmart. I actually liked it pretty, pretty much. Uh, I remembered uh, playing the demo and. I was in chapter one in that area where you have to figure out a way to to was a just try to figure out a way to get a get across this area. And you're supposed to build a bridge, but I never figured that out. So I was just uh, that was my early early members. Uh, pretty memorable, but uh, just something to grin on. Just just uh, as of now, uh, as soon as I got the game, it was really not that good. I think I died. Uh, I didn't die on the very first the very first. Uh, it was the very first uh, battle, but I did die on the first set of uh, Goombas that you actually have to to b battle on that because that's kind of embarrassing. But later on, I got progress progressively better, and uh oh, it looks like it looks like that thing that we got that we were uh, that we had in uh, the first game that's back. So you know what? I think that means that calls for a little bring back. So. Let me go ahead and tattle. Let me, get, let me get, go ahead and get into the one of these battles real quick. Come on, me. I wanna, wanna fight these bullets. All right. Hopefully there's a like. All right, we got like. Okay, so we got. Uh, yeah, we got two. All right, so let's just get rid of one. Bomb shit bills. That's what they're called. I'll go ahead and tattle these guys so I don't have to tattle them in the actual bullet belt battle. This is the bombshell bill. Bombshell bills have such beautiful gold cachings. Of course, if you sit and admire it, you'll get hit. Metric speed 3, attack power z 6, defense power 0. Pay attention to their HP because the explosions get bigger as the HP drops. Let's take them out before they get near us. Well, I took out as many as I can in order for you to tattle. And unfortunately, we're just really weak. And luckily, we're just barely hanging in there. In case if we ever do die again, then I, you know, I can fall back on my, my life streams. But you know what, here we go. We're going into the extravaganza of more uh, bullet bill... Bullet bill... Uh, Shall we say grindings? I actually want to do this, but all right, here we go. The B Bill Blaster. B Bill Blasters shoot a, a constant stream of bomb shell bills, which is what we just fought. And she's B10. Defense power zero. Defense power. It's defense power four. They don't attack you directly, just like the ones that we fought back in the Cooper Bros Fortress. They're pretty resilient. You'll have to keep attacking them. Although otherwise, the air will be filled with bomb shell bills, and nobody wants that. Yes, yes, nobody wants that. And. uh... Uh, same strategy with these guys. You want to, if you're going for a lot of levels, I guess. If you re really want that many levels, it's best just to, just to not kill these uh, bullets right right away. Instead, you want to just uh, for, right for now. We can just uh, try and just build their, their HP down to where we can just take them down in one hit. Yeah, I think yeah, this will be my strategy for now. Uh, I don't think wait, actually. Let me go over to Watt so we can just do our damage. And yeah, this is what I'll be doing. Just like uh, like I said last time, I'll be speeding up through this entire process, like I did back, back in chapter, uh, all the way back in chapter one. Wow, it's been so long. I almost forgot about this uh, thing that's coming up. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be the whole process of all of this. I'm just gonna be jumping on these bombshell bells. There's really not much else to this battle besides just finishing them off. So let the, so let the speeding up, speed up. Uh, Commence with my my blue gas brando banjo music that I just like.
Whew, after all that battling, we we were rewarded just just like last time. We get about loads of star points. We should once we defeat all these get all the rest. Look at that. We got like oh what's that? Actually we got like a hundred one. So it looks like uh, there's a chance that you may be able to level up twice. You know, I've, I've always wanted to do that, but uh, unfortunately, you know, it's not the case. I'm not at like uh, that much. Jeez, look, wait, actually, whoa, what am I saying? It's only 94. Well, wow. but yeah, we got like 94 star points. This really just breaks the game. Uh, actually, um, I really want to get FP, but but since you know all these close calls with HP, I think it'd be best to actually uh, get some more HP and. Uh, Actually, you know what? You thought that was insane? We got another set of these. You know what? Let's let's actually get let's let's do this too. As you know, I got some uh, get some of this. That I don't want to. Yeah, I just star star. I don't. I don't even care. Unless we can get some extra star points by this, just by a little. But me, whatever. So uh, I, I guess I'll start once I get to that battle with the uh, bombshell bells, and you know what? We shall do it. Actually, I think there might be another one up ahead, but you know, I might not be too sure. But you know what? Let's let's just do it. Let me just yep. Or okay, the, the first strike won't work. So yes, more banjo music. Okay, you know what? Since I'm okay, I just can't take it anymore. I can't because that first process didn't take that, that long because you know each bombshell ga bell gave us two. But you know what? This is taking way too long. I said this this time the bombshell bells only give us just one. So you know what? Totally not worth it. And, you know, just die. I have enough star points. Thank you very much. Uh, 72 should do just just nice, and you know, give us another level up. So that, in that case, I'm just gonna use it on my HP just to even things out because. There's one thing in this area that's gonna be pretty, pretty darn tough, and you you, you, you want to make sure you have enough H HP. And just as you thought, we're just gonna get past this area. No, we gotta get, get through this one more time. Ugh. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are just sick of red deck music, but you know what? Oh, just, just yeah. Now I gotta do it again. Ah, oh, come on, just let me pass. I was trying to get the coins. You know what? Just good. Next time I get coins, I'm... No. Just run away from the bullets. I'm like Neo. I, I dodge I dodge bullets. Dodge this. Yeah. You know what? Just screw the... Oh, my God. There's there's more? There's, like, two more up there? Oh, my... Oh, jeez. No, that's that's all nice if you want to get all that star points, but I just... I don't have the patience. I mean, the recording time is just so much. I'm just going to skip it because of how... Ridiculous that is. No, I'm not. No, I don't want your star points. No more. Ah, oh, darn it. At least I first striked him. Whatever. Ah, uh, just, just get get through this area. Uh, this recording has been going on for like 40 minutes. I don't want to like to get corrupt. Plus, uh, there's something I want to do. Uh, this tonight. I hope it's tonight. But uh, I'm just gonna try and hurry this up and try and get to the next save 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 block and just end it there. But come on, can I can I, can I like get some super armor? I guess nope. Alright, so I guess... Oh, there's a Magic Koopa too? Uh, okay. Okay, sh sure. We'll, we'll take on it. 
Magic Koopa, you're gonna die. Yeah. Oh my god, four, three. I just didn't stand even didn't stand much of a chance. Because that power power balance being so powerful. Alright. So I yeah, I might as well just cut this out. I'm not gonna do any more uh, bullet bill grinding. As much as I really want to. I just don't have I just lost all patience to actually do it. So unfortunately, I'm not going to. Alright, is all the potential places just to get star points over because believe me I, I really wanted to do that because you know just more star points overall how many, how many levels do I have I believe uh yeah we're at level 23 so all we gotta do is level up uh, two more times for more HP and two more times for flower points and, you know we actually actually max out with the level here and we got some dry bones here this would make good use for Cooper so if you if you have Cooper rigged up all the way you know did I even rank or did I I didn't even tell these guys all right so Okay, don't you switch over to lack lack of less for an accident. Alright. We can do that. Or we can just go over to Gumbario and tattle these guys. This is a dry bones. Dry bones are skeletal remains of of uh Koopa Troopas. Match HP eight, attack power four, defense power two. Just when you think they're beat, these guys rise up and attack again. You're going to have to beat them all at once. Or you could use fire attacks, which is Cooper. If they become ashes, there's no way they'll recover. They just incinerate. I believe they don't they aren't affected by quick hammers so they, they do some damage but they don't knock them over just like these other koopas yeah just as they affected plus their uh, attack is fairly devastating and uh let's actually just make use of the cooper because by using fire attacks uh, they just go down just instantly just just watch this once they charge it up all the way 16 these guys from fire attacks they just go down instantly really crazy if, uh, if you have fire attacks uh you yeah, have fire attacks, very ideal for for enemies, you know, such as the dry, bow, dry bones. I believe bony beetles also also have that same weakness. So uh, if you're going up against bony beetles, also yeah, you know, consider do, uh, using that. I got some super shrooms here. Yeah. Would have been great to have a while back, but you know, now it's just I, I don't have that the inventory space. I shouldn't have. Uh, I could have commentated through that small space of time, but you know, more editing. Gosh darn it! More super shrooms that we don't need. All right, unless that was the same one. And we got these three. Uh, well, that was a different one. All right, so we got these three pillars here. We have to push uh, either one to actually get past. Where's that save block? Okay, I guess we just missed that only one that we're gonna have for a while. So you know, the video is long. Then there you go. That's why. Sort of like a marathon, I guess. This was bony beetles. Right, okay, this is save block right there. But you know, let's just. End the video, or not end the video, but like just get one through, get in one, vi one more battle. Let's actually see if uh, the fire shell actually affects the bony bones. It should because you know bones. Okay, it doesn't affect them, just dry bones. Okay. And let's see here. Let's. Uh, it's not gonna. Yeah, let's just use a quick hammer so we can avoid the bony beetles attack. And the magic koopa shouldn't uh, run away because you know it only runs away when it's by itself with low HP. So uh, let's just. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to. Okay, he's gonna do electrifying. He's that. Like trying status affection, which uh, shouldn't do much to us because you know we're gonna use a we're not gonna use any contacting attacks, just just a quick attack, and you'll just go fairly down just like that. So that's gonna be it for this part, this long part. Tune next time for part three, as in chapter eight of paper. Tune in next time for part three of paper, paper Mario chapter eight finale, as we're going to progress more into into Bowser's castle and trying to get to Peach's castle. So till then, see you guys later.